Hi, I'm Eileen Roach, and welcome to today's episode of Between Friends. I'm so glad you joined me today. We're talking all about variegated thread. And I see many of you are already chatting in the comments. It's so nice to have you here, people from Northwest Florida, San Diego, California. And a lot of you are talking about the weather. So I'll just give you an update. I'm in Dallas, Texas, and it's like 51 degrees here today. It's cloudy and overcast. So it's kind of a dreary winter, winter day, which makes it a perfect day to talk about variegated thread, right? But you know, I'm not gonna do this by myself. I asked my good friend, Sue Brown from OML Embroidery to join me because she loves variegated threads. So let's welcome Sue Brown. Hey. Hi, Hi. I do love variegated thread. That is, it, nothing makes me happier. I, I do, awesome. I, I use it all the time and I try to design things that you can use variegated thread so it shows the beauty of it. So right. it's a and, lot of fun. Yeah, because it doesn't work in every design, right? It doesn't. And mm -hmm. there is such a thing as too much variegated thread. So yeah. <laughs> I always tell people, use it wisely. It, it'll make an impact, but you can't make an impact on every part of the design. So, but That's also try it. I say, yeah. try it. You might sure. love it. And, you know, there's two types of variegated thread. There's um, ombre, which is, you know, for light to medium to dark of one color. And then there's the striped, the multicolor. And sometimes they're highly contrasting colors. And sometimes, you know, they're just kind of subtle variations in color. So do you have a favorite? Do you like the ombre or do you like the striped? I like this, the stripe <laughs> right here. This is yeah. the new okay. one. That's what you card. like. So yeah. I like the bright colors because I think mm -hmm. they show up better on, right. and they make more of a statement. And if you're doing something that you can use the rest of the colors, there's a big wow factor on yeah. it. That's which right. Which is really nice. But this one with yeah. the orange. Oh, yeah. I'm excited about this one. Gee, I wonder why orange makes you sing. <laughs> orange, orange and purple, I'm in heaven, come on. Yeah, they're like your faves, right? Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. That's too funny. Oh, hey, Marianne Dublagla. So here, let's bring up her comment because she says, hi, from warm Ohio. Thank you for the new update this week. She's talking about Imperfect Embroidery Pro and actually all of our software programs. She's loving the new things that were added to PEP. And you and I, before we went live, you said, oh, you I did. love it too. So tell me what you love about it. It works quickly. <laughs> It works. It's easy to set up and you just send it over. And when it shows up on uh, Captain Jack, which is my Luminaire 3, mm -hmm. it says the actual name of it. So I can see the yeah. size. I don't have right. to flick through everything. Did this one or did I send this yeah. one? It's right. all right there. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Right. So what Sue's talking about is... Uh, a free update for, you know, we update our software all the time to keep it compatible with the operating systems of Microsoft and Apple. And we occasionally put in, you know, some really cool features. And this month was wireless connection to, to brother and baby lock machines. So now you can effortlessly send your embroidery design from your screen whoosh, across the room to your embroidery machine. And boy, is that a game changer, isn't it? It really is because yeah. um, there's other software that I have 
and I get errors all the time. Yeah. And it, you run out of software, mm -hmm. how are you going to get it to your machine? It's because there's no USB plug in. It has mm -hmm. to be wireless. So I'm like, oh, I know PEP will work all the time yeah. and easy to set up too. That's right. the other thing. So, right. yes. And what I love about it is, uh, first off, you don't have to save it in a machine format. The software is going to convert it from the C2S file where I'm always working with C2S, the native format of our embroidery software. And when I click send to the machine, it changes it to PES. And uh, what else is really cool is sometimes I'm working on a design and I create a design and I send it to the machine and I'm stitching it. And then I realized, oh, you know, I'd like to add something to that design. So I can open up my software and, uh, you know, create something new and send it to the machine without even saving that part. And that might not mean a lot to you, but if you try it, you'll go like, oh, yeah, that does make sense. So anyway. It's time that it saves you. And also not converting it. That's another thing that saves you time. And you will never get mixed up between the stitch file yeah. and the working file because you only have the working file in. Right. So I love it. I know. I do too. So Joanne T says, what software does it work with? So we're talking about Perfect Embroidery Pro. This is the Dime Inspiration software, our brand of software. And it also, uh, maybe one of our team members, if you would put in the chat, if it does, uh, if this feature is available on our other software programs, we do have quite a few, you know, Word Art and Stitches and My Quilt Embellisher. And I'm just not sure because I use them all. So I never really know what's, you know, limited to which one. So anyway, here's my good friend, Laurie Albrecht, who is recovering. And she says, hi, the new wireless transfer is flawless. It is flawless. And it remembers the machines. You know, I have a machine here in the office. I have one at home. And so, you know, they're in the software by name. And doesn't matter if it was yesterday or three week three weeks ago, it still works, still recognizes it and sees that machine. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, Lori Albrecht tells me she's used it on all the models. Thank you so much. So that means probably not embroidery tool shed though, right, Lori? So maybe somebody could check that out and let me know because that's our free program. So but we have other things to talk about, right? Variegated thread. Let's variegated talk variegated thread. thread. <laughs> so let's see. But hey, let's just answer. Retha, she says, um, can you still use a USB for machines that aren't wireless? Absolutely. Then you're going to go to, you know, file, save as, and save your design in the location that you want in the format that you need. So Retha, you're, you're fine. You hasn't changed that. And in fact, I have a multi-needle at home that does not have the wireless feature. So I'm still using a USB on that machine kind of begrudgingly, but I'm doing it. <laughs> right. Same here. Same yeah. here. Right. But it, it's a great machine and a workhorse. Okay. So two types of variegated thread. We kind of talked about the ombre and then the striped and then the best stitch types for variegated thread. So it's not really the best, but you should know that you're going to get different results um, depending on the stitch type that you're stitching, a satin, a fill, or a run. And then we're going to talk about blending variegated thread with solids, you know, because like you said, um, Sue, too much of variegated thread kind of overpowering can really kind of ruin a design, right? It can. Too much of a good thing. There is such a thing for sure. <laughs> I think people say that about chocolate, but I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know. I've never heard of that personally. But. <laughs> well, I know a woman who said she was allergic to chocolate. I said, really? That's such a shame. I said, do you break out in a rash? She goes, no, it makes my thighs, my thighs swell. <laughs> there you go. I guess it does. Well, I guess yes. we're all allergic to chocolate. But, uh, yeah, well. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay, so my good buddy, Roy Garland, you know, he's the master wizard behind a lot of this software. He said that the wireless transfer is not available with Embroidery Toolshed, the free program, but it does work with all of our other paid modules. So if you have any of them, you have wireless connection now. Brilliant. Pretty cool. Okay, yes. so let's take a look. Here's Ombre. Blue Ocean is a our newest color. 
And look at those pretty blues, right? It goes from a really soft blue to a deeper blue. And um, that stays in the color family, right? Just stays in the color family. I have a visitor here. Um, oh, um, Sue, entertain the folks just for a moment. Would you okay, please? for sure. <laughs> That's interesting. I really do like the ocean one, the ombre. I don't think I have too many of those because I usually do the bright colors. So here's something that I created. I could show you guys. It's just a zipper bag, no huge deal. But the variegated thread is around the outside yeah. and the colors that make up the variegated thread are in the rows. So that's my favorite way of using it. So it's variegated thread and you can see it. And these are the colors that make it up. Now that one looks good, but I went and I used one, I'm thinking blue and pink. I don't know how good that's going to look. Does not look great. If you see okay. on the back, you can see the can colors on the back as well. That's what I mean when I'm saying, like, don't overdo it. I would not do the whole rose with variegated thread because that would be too much. You wouldn't be able to see or notice what it is. So I really like it. Love that rose. Yeah. Uh, specifically designed for dimes thread. So um, it's easy to pick it out because it comes in the packs. So the variegated and then the four colors, that's all it is from light to dark. That's all I did on this. Isn't that neat? Isn't it's that neat? beautiful, Sue. I it love it. Just beautiful. I love it. So um, meanwhile, we're trying to get my overhead camera ready so that I can show you some beautiful samples. But before we have to really worry about that, we have a couple slides to go through. So let's all keep our fingers crossed that we get that working. Okay, so multicolor is kind of the striped effect. Now, this is a pretty subtle stripe. Wouldn't you agree, Sue? Yes. I yeah, love so it though. I it love is it. pretty. So it's green and like a really soft mint green and, and a kind of a baby blue and a yellow. And um, I like it. We call it fresh because it kind of just looks so fresh. All right. Another one. Oh, this one was made with you in mind. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love, see, I love the high contrast and a little bit of the neon that, that just makes it beautiful. Yeah. Well, Reen Wilcoxon wants to know which variegated thread color combo is your favorite, Sue? Um, so. Probably this one. I haven't tried it yet. The newest okay. one. It is Brighton Collection. Right. So I'll design something really cool to use this one. But okay. uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. Awesome. Anything bright, I use yeah. it. Good. Good. Okay. And so this is your favorite, actually. So oh. the name of the variegated thread itself is Sher Sherbert, Sherbet. I, I don't have the extra R in there. There should be an R after the B-E-R-T. So um, anyway, I apologize for that. But yeah, that's your favorite. It happens to be my favorite, too. It's really I pretty. love it. Look at the yeah. stripes, uh, yeah. the one with the stripes. Yeah. Now, I never use satin stitch with variegated thread because it mm -hmm. makes a stripe like lettering with satin mm -hmm. stitch. I don't like how it looks, just personal. But mm -hmm. that I see like around like lights, like Christmas lights. Sure, sure. Something like yeah. that. Um, yeah. And if you're careful about using it, it looks fantastic. Yeah. I used it on the small town charm to mm. outline one of the windows. Beautiful. 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 Really nice. So Marianne de Blagla said that she used uh, the variegated thread on nap blocker, which, you know, holds down the nap and it came out to look like a plaid. And so, you know, you will get different results for sure with each one. So, uh, and we're going to talk about that and, you know, jewel tones. This is a favorite of many people here at Dime. They love this one. It has a mint green, a beautiful rose, a blue, and a purple. And it really pops. That's gorgeous. Yeah. So we like that one. And then what's next? Okay, so here's it. Let's zoom. I zoomed in. And now you can see 
On the complex fill in this direction, you'll see where, you know, you get a real striped effect when the stitching is short distances in the upper left and lower right corner, right? Because that's the, the needle's only going a short distance. And, um, and then in the center where it's a long path of straight stitches, you see more variety, right? Yeah. I personally really love the running stitches because Excellent. then you can really see the colors yeah. and they stand out a bit more, but yeah, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. And of course there's the stripe. So that really shows you now I'm going to let you in on a little secret with, for our variegated thread in the variegated thread, there are four colors. Each of our variegated is made up of four solid colors, but two of those colors are repeated twice. So it's not, you know, one, two, three, four, it's one, two, two, three, four, four. So, you know, so you get a little bit more of one color and that's why they kind of appear like in this one, it's the blue and uh, it's kind of hard to tell what the other one is actually, the, but that, the, that's how it runs. The Sherbert one, you could see clearly that there's a lot of orange in it because mm -hmm. right. it was orange, the color, orange, the yes, color, that sort of exactly. thing. Exactly. Okay. So now I, I did, uh, this is a free design for all of you today because this idea really came to me from Sue. She, um, our color play, you know, this is what we're talking about today, our variegated thread, right? So it comes with one variegated thread spool and then the four solids that come make up the variegated pack or spool. But Sue keeps these chipboards, we call them chipboards here, and she keeps them in a file in a drawer in her studio so that she can always refer to it. She knows exactly what solids are going to work with that variegated. So we um, are we have a free design for you. And this is a patch for you to stitch. And uh, I guess we can we'll, eventually we'll get it on the overhead cam. And um, it's a big patch. And I put eyelets in the top so you can put some rings in there and then you can glue the board to the back. But this design gives you a stitch out of a complex fill and then running stitches, the satin outline and a, another complex fill that's kind of done, you know, in a fun digitizing fashion. And then of course the solids so that you can actually see what makes it up. So. We, you know, it's a great way to stay organized to really get to know your threads, and uh, we like that. So, what do you do? Do you test Sue before you really run, you know, with variegated thread? Uh, sometimes I do, it depends. Usually, I'm certain about what I want, however, I watch the first little bit of stitches mm -hmm. and then I can see if the colors are gonna work or absolutely yeah. not, and then I can just right. it's easier to go back and cover them up. But I generally have yeah. a pretty good idea, but that mm -hmm. would be very helpful to have. Yeah. It really would be. And, you know, so when you get that new collection of color play, you know, it's a fun design to just stitch, right? And then you, then you can, you can see it, it. You have it. And yeah, and you know what to expect. But another great way to test is virtually. We don't always have to use the needle, thread, and fabric, right, Sue? That's true. That's true. Yeah. I find that really fun when you can go into PEP and pick the actual the actual thread that you have even yeah. the variegated now it's not perfect because it's computerized yeah. it's not real life but it sure gives you a great idea i love it i play with that more than i should probably <laughs> well, yeah well i like to you know experiment in video in video in uh oh in um software because you can see it in software before you actually stitch it. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how you can do that in our software. So in Perfect Embroidery Pro, you can also do this in our free program, Embroidery Toolshed. Well, kind of, anyway, let's just stick to Perfect Embroidery Pro. I selected the text tool and I'm gonna write in the text box, color play. And then I just click on that font to access the entire library. And I'll use that, um, 
tab to scroll through and I'm looking for a specific font, which is called Color Play. And this was digitized specifically for variegated thread. It's run stitches that are pretty close together. So you're gonna get a nice variety of that thread. Then I go into the color palette and here is all of the a color play groups. So I can just scroll through, see which one I want. I'll take my time and make a decision. Eventually I'll make a decision. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Isn't That's it awesome? awesome. Yeah. And there we have it. So then I just click on the variegated chip and down at the bottom of the screen, it appears and I right click on it. And now my font, <laughs> my word is visible in the variegated thread. And this is a very good simu simulation. This is pretty true to life. So I want to see what some others are, so I'll just select it and do Control C for copy, Control V for paste, and then I'm going to change the color to green and then go back into that palette with that green chip selected and select another group of color play. This time I'll do blue ocean and I'll select the uh, variegated thread, and now you can see how subtle that is because this is one of the ombres. So now let's go ahead and draw a satin stitch, right? A column of satin so I can see what that's gonna look like. And um, again, we'll just select it, right click on the color chip to see it in the variegated thread and I can control copy and paste. And Carolyn Morrow, color play is a choice in Word Art and Stitches, it's there. Take a look into your software, they're in there alphabetically, you can find it. And so as I, you know, copy and paste, I can then change the color. It's so easy to change the color. So I'm right clicking with my mouse to change the color. And then now let's take a look at what it's going to look like as a complex fill. So in the artwork tool, I'll select rectangle and draw a square and select it, right click, convert to complex fill. And again, assign the variegated thread to it. And here you can see like, just kind of what we showed you in the slides, the stitch out, that's how it appears, right? So now we'll copy and paste. And now I'm gonna change the direction of the stitches. Just by changing the angle, you get a completely different look, completely different look. So one more time, we'll take this and control C and control V. I'm gonna change the palette, uh, the direction again now. it's basically mirror image of my first one. And now we'll select it and we're gonna change that to the um, blue ocean. And you can see just how subtle that is, right? And there we have one in, you know, in the Sherbert and one in Hall Halloween and blue ocean. So super fun, huh, Sue? Oh, I could play with that all day. I probably will too. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> know. Will. It's I so it. easy. It really is. And it gives you, if you are a digitizer, it's a great way to play with variegated thread without, you know, doing a lot of stitching. You eventually definitely have to do that though, right, Sue? Oh, definitely. But yeah. it, I could play with it all day and come mm -hmm. up with something that's yeah. perfect, perfectly done for it. I love yeah. it. I love the yeah. idea of it. But you know, in software, even in our free program embroidery toolshed, you can take anybody's design, any design that you purchased and open that up in embroidery toolshed and take a look at it in a variegated thread. So super cool. All right, what am I doing next? Oh, we're gonna talk about, well, well, you know, the whole idea about these threads is that we blend them together. And the reason we do that is because they come in sets of five. So you get the, uh, variegated color, spool, and then you get the four solids. And of course, they're on special today, 2075 uh, for all five spools. Pretty good deal, don't you think? Yes, absolutely. I think I see a few that I need, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> good. Just okay. Saying. So, let's head over and take a closer look at uh, some pretty things that we have here on the table. And we have. Um, Sorry, we had some camera work that, you know, so you're seeing some things you shouldn't see. And I'm, instead of uh, zooming in, I think it's better if I just raise the table a little bit. So just bear with me a, for a minute. 
And let's see. Uh, okay, so here's our fresh. I thought I would just let you take a good look at the colors that are in fresh. So here's our variegated at the top, right? That beautiful kind of subtle tone uh, of blue and blue and the yellow and the two greens. They're so lovely. They're really kind of soft. Uh, it's, you know, pastel looks great on dark fabrics for sure. But here it is stitched out. And this is one that I really do love. I mean, I think it's just fresh. It's really pretty. Okay. And I do love this kind of complex fill where it is, oh, it's random. And so it kind of makes it look like earth, you know, it's just all a little bit of yellow over here, some blue, some green. And it, it's the way the digitizing was created. So the needle is jumping into different areas and uh, it's just gorgeous. Okay, but look at this fun design. Well, you know, when I think of variegated thread, I think of painting with a thread, right? And of course, nail polish, you probably wouldn't paint, you know, and mix them all together. But these are our four solids. And this is what they make up, that really pretty variegated uh, design. So here you'll find each of the numbers of the exquisite solid, and here's the number of the um, variegated thread. Now we've been calling these different things. So fresh is the color uh, and the name of that spool of the variegated thread. Monterey is the whole collection, the whole color play collection. So that's why you're hearing, you know, these different names, okay? So let's take a look at Sue's favorite. How about if we do that, which is her Sherbert, but actually the collection is called Brighton. And um, we just love this collection, orange, pink, purple, and yellow. And of course our variegated is so decorative, so pretty. So let's go ahead and move this aside and take a look at. Now this one I stitched on this, you know, medium gray and it lets all of the colors really shine. But here you can see it on white and it most certainly pops on white also. I wow. love that mix. I know, really pretty, right Sue? Wow, absolutely. Yeah, and again, here's our four colors, our solid, and when they're together as a group, that's the Brighton collection. So if Sherbert is your favorite variegated, it's the Brighton collection that you wanna purchase. All right, let's take a look at um, a company favorite, which is um, the Jewel Tones. And so, yeah, the Jewel Tones is the name of the variegated thread. And look at these deep, luscious colors that are made wow. up in there. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I'm going to have to get that one. That's stunning. Yeah. It Beautiful. really is. And, and it features one of my favorite colors, which is rosewood. You can see I'm just about down to the end of that spool. But all of the blue and that gorgeous kind of teal uh, and then the purple, they really make up a beautiful collection. And here's what it looks like when it's stitched out in a variegated, oh, um, wow. in the variegated stripe. And here's our run stitches. Now this would probably be best on a light colored fabric because these are darker shades. So you really want to see them and that's going to give you the effect that you want. And here's our, our globe. Isn't that fun? That is gorgeous, actually. You can really pick out the different colors yeah. in it. I love it. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. And then, um, oh, here's our nail polish. So Chicago is the name of the collection. And it is Jewel Tone that makes up the, the that's the name of the variegated. And Chicago is all five spools together. So we have just two more. We'll go to Halloween because I know that's going to make you smile, Sue. Always. Right? <gasps> wow. I know. You love the neon green, right? Yes. Yes. Yep. And I you. know you love orange and they sure go well together. And then the gray just kind of offsets all these really popping bright colors. You know, we just thought we didn't want to do black because then you can't stitch it on black. And since black is such a popular Halloween color, we figured, well, a gray would mimic the same idea. And then again, there is that really fun variegated. So this is called Halloween. And, and here you can see it's stitched on a light oh. fabric and then stitched on a dark fabric. Oh. 
Isn't it great? Wow. And it's Transylvania. That's what the town that we named uh, this collection after. Isn't that fun? Nice. I love yeah. it in the writing. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's our color play font, which is in Word Art and Stitches and Perfect Embroidery Pro. And boy, that is one beautiful font. One beautiful font. And then, because I love the ocean, this blue ocean is probably one of my absolute favorites. Uh, you oh. know, I like the blues and I like the variety of the very light blue to the turquoises. And some of these are kind of close, but they blend so nicely, don't they? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it really is. So if you are doing any kind of nautical stitching where you really want to showcase water, well, this is a great way to do it. And here we have the complex fill and our satin and our run stitches. And then you can see it in the globe that really oh. does look like, you know, a droplet of water, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah. And then here we have the stitch out, which is Santorini. So the collection of Blue Ocean and its four companions is Santorini. So that's the collection that is on sale today. So how fun. Oh, and then of course, well, we're talking about blending. So a good way to blend, and you kind of spoke about this when you showed us your rose bag, is how to work with the variegated thread and then the accents, you know, that are um, at the other spools that are in that um, program, right? So I kind of want to show you those earrings, but I think that black is a little too dark. And I don't know if that's just me, but anyway, I'm going to pull them off the black. I want, I want to show you the, um, the Brighton. This is your favorite collection, Sue. Yay. Yeah, and I have stitched this in four different ways. So on here, the first one, it's variegated all the way, all no outline, no solid outline, just variegated, never stopped the machine. And then here I did pink and then orange and then the purple. So these really look different, all four of these earrings. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I love the purple ones. The purple? That, that makes everything stand out. What a yeah. clever idea. Yeah. Well, you know, I like the pink, uh, the pink and the orange. They're my favorite. Um, hmm. The purple, not so much. I like this. It's a little bit, uh, it does have an outline, it, it, unlike the variegated, which is just total variegated. So I like the definition that the solid gives you. And yet it's kind of very similar in tone. It, do, it doesn't pop like that. So to wear, this is what I would be more comfortable in. But Sue, I know you, you're going to love these and you're going to rock them and just look fantastic, aren't you? Definitely. Thank you. Thank yep. you. I will. Yep. Okay. So now I want to show you the blues. So, cause we have oh. blue ocean and, you know, we have another collection of blue, which is what we call Nashville. And so I don't want you to think, oh, it's just another blue. It's really different. I mean, this is our Nashville collection, which has a, it's kind of almost a, a gray blue, a powder blue, a medium blue, and almost a navy, right? So it really has those four different color uh, shades within the ombre. And then here in um, the Santorini or the blue ocean, we have, all those different colors. And this I did it in just variegated. I didn't obviously do a solid outline, but they're both so wearable. And, uh, but you know, blues come in different tones, right? You have gray tones and brighter tones. So you need a little bit of everything. And then, so here we have, um, I didn't get the, uh, the actual findings on them yet, but this is Halloween and oh, they're kind of wow. fun. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yep, wow. they're fun. And then here is a, two, a pair of earrings from the Fresh, Fresh collection. Yeah, isn't that pretty? You know what I like best about the Fresh is hmm. that little bit of yellow. It yeah. catches your eye. I love it. And especially on those earrings, it stands right. out. I love it. It really makes the other colors sing, you know? And we know that in, in picking fabrics and selecting fabrics, it's what you put next to the fabric that makes the fabric sing. 
So same thing with thread. And here we have another blue ocean, just to kind of show you how subtle it can be. You know, these are pretty big earrings, so maybe you don't want all of this, you know, impact. You just, you know, you like the big look, but not too bold. So lots of fun things to play with, right? Great ideas. I, yeah. I love it. Okay, so hey, why I'm here, let's take a closer look at the uh, color play free design that you can download today. So again, it's a patch, so it's an applique, and it's going to have these holes in it that you'll have to cut. And uh, these are the four different designs that you'll stitch out. And you're going to get your satin outline, your run stitches in here, that complex fill, and then the another complex fill, and then your solids. And then on the back, you can just glue this. Now, you could put a pocket there. I'll leave that up to you to figure that out. But you most certainly could put a pocket on the back so you can just slide that in. But we just glued it in place, and it's it's surviving. <laughs> so it's good. And this is, you know, color play. So when you get it, you'll have this chipboard and we suggest that you keep that because it has your information on it. And then you'll know exactly what solids go with that variegated and you'll get all five luscious spools of thread, which is so fun, right? So let's see Love if we have it. any questions, Sue. Uh, let's see. Oh, Reen Wilcoxon said she used the Nashville on freestanding lace. Absolutely. Oh. Um, I remember that garment and it, they, it was beautiful. So, uh, and uh, one of our uh, educators, Ayn McCarthy has done a beautiful jacket, a denim jacket in with Nashville lace designs. Really cool. Yeah. Uh, and Susan Wiggins, you said you need to try the freestanding lace earrings. Oh, give them a try. So all of those earrings that you just saw are from two collections. I have a just earrings collection. And then my first jewelry collection was the lace jewelry collection. And all of those things are all freestanding. So it was kind of a combination of the two. So, um, and they're fast and easy to stitch. So I stitched all of those earrings yesterday in about an hour. You know, oh, you can, wow. yeah, you can do four sets in a five by seven hoop. It's fast. Great right? gifts too. Good. Great gifts. Great yeah. gifts. Yeah. And they're lightweight. They're as light as air. I'm not wearing them right now, but they're as light as air, which is really great. Uh, let's see. So Beverly Betts wants to know, does the color play patch design come in multiple formats? It's coming in just C2S because the idea is that you will use it in embroidery tool shed and uh, you can convert it to whatever uh, format that you need. So there was no reason for us to uh, convert it for you. We want you to experiment with the variegated thread so you can do it in embroidery tool shed. Um, so let's see, Jen, Joanne, you want to know, are there sets of only the variegated? No, we don't sell sets of only variegated thread, but that's not a bad idea. Something that we'll consider in the future. Thanks for that suggestion, Joanne. Uh, we really like to focus on the pack of five because it's really unique. I think we're the only company who offers that variegated thread with its solids. And that kind of sets you up to have success that you can just, you know, what colors are going to work together beautifully in your project. I've spent many an hour looking at variegated thread, trying to figure out what it's made of, what yeah. colors it is. And it's mm -hmm. amazing how wrong I was <laughs> on a lot of them. So I think it's the greatest thing to have yeah. the colors that make it up because no matter what you do, it's going to match. That's right. That's right. And you know, Kelly has asked, when you're using variegated thread, what do you use a white bobbin? Well, that's a good question because in freestanding lace, it's normally visible on the wrong side, right? Now, if I flip mine over, you're going to see that I only used white thread, but you know, sometimes I'm stitching for this function only. And so we cheat a little, but I would use one of those solids that comes in the color play for the back of the embroidery. That's what I would normally do because uh, then I know it's it's gonna be a pleasing combination. It's absolutely gonna match. Now, could I use wind a bobbin of the variegated itself? You sure could, you could do that. And then it's gonna look you know, variegated on both sides and you may not even be able to determine what's the right side and what's the wrong side, right, Sue? That's a great idea, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. 
Uh, and Gail Close wants to know, if you run out of one color, can you get each separately? Absolutely. You can buy individual spools on our site for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, Reen says, it's hard to pick a favorite. Hard to pick a favorite. I know. Okay, so let's see. Uh, and Jane Grubel says it doesn't download as a zip file. Probably not because it's just a C2S file. It's just the one file and you can get all the information that you would need in Embroidery Toolshed. So you'll be able to see the design in Embroidery Toolshed. You'll be able to print a template of the design in Embroidery Toolshed. And you'll also be able to print out the color sequence in Embroidery Toolshed. So that's why. Okay, so let's see. Um, I know that many of you are interested in, uh, well, first of all, the price, right? So let's go ahead and just remind you that it's $20.75 and it's free shipping on orders over $75. So if you've been saving up something that you want to add to your cart, this would be a good time to, um, to do that and take advantage of this special. And it's going to be on sale all week. So these are our five new colors, the Monterey, the Chicago, the Brighton, the Santorini, and the Transylvania. So we are... Um, we are just thrilled with those new colors. We're so excited. You know, it takes a long time. Deborah Jones and I worked on these new colors, um, I guess like last April. That's how long ago it takes. So wow. not quite a year, about mm, eight months, right? Maybe 10 months. So it takes a long time. You have to make a suggestion and then they, they give us some samples and we yay or nay and back and forth. And then, you know. Yay, they're done. Cindy King wants to know, are they all polyester? Absolutely, all exquisite thread. Our brand of threads is 40 weight poly polyester and uh, high quality, beautiful functioning thread. Mm -hmm. How much is on the spools? Mm, maybe somebody in my team will tell me. I think it's 1500, but somebody in my team, will you verify that? I get my numbers mixed up. <laughs> so, um, and then let's talk about Ashley Jones because, it, you know, you teach software, right, Sue? Yes, I do. Yeah, and you uh, teach Perfect Emerging Pro. Tell us more about what you do. I like to come up with different ways to digitize. So not just using a background picture. We don't do that. We start with a blank screen and pick a shape and create from there. That's how mm -hmm. I, there's a ton of them in uh, yes. Pat. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. So you can create your own original designs mm -hmm. in PEP. Okay. Yeah. So easy. Here uh, at Dime, we have Ashley Jones, and she teaches software success every, well, twice a month, the first and third Tuesday of the month. And next up is February 6th. And and on, the, on that date, she's going to be teaching a program that is My Fabric Designer. And that allows you, believe it or not, to create or de design your own fabric with repeatable patterns or maybe one large element. You know, you can make a cheater quilt. You can do all kinds of things. And she's going to teach you how to do that. And then you would have it printed somewhere else. <laughs> you know, like there's lots of print on demand companies that you can research, but what you need first is the file. So uh, the, the art file that you would create, create in my fabric designer. So it's really a fun program. And um, so I hope you'll join her on February 6th. And we always hope that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook, because that lets us know um, that you are enjoying the content that we give you. So let's see, Laura Parks wants to know, how do we download the color play, the patch design? So somebody in my team, if you could tell us exactly where that's gonna be uh, in the chat so that we can direct people uh, on where to get that design. Okay, so, oh, well, February 1st is next week. Can you believe it, Sue? Really? No, yeah, I no. Know. I know. <laughs> That's amazing. Time, time flies when you're having fun, as they say. Time does fly when you're having fun. And I'm going to be back and we're going to talk, be talking about hooping. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Something that we do all the time. Right, Sue? Yep, definitely. And it's a good thing to mm -hmm. keep going over because you sometimes forget what works and what doesn't yeah. work. So right. Awesome. For, 
That's right, for sure. And you know, Sue, you're here because we're, it's like on the house time. So all of last year, Sue, you did a sew along of the project that we uh, provide for uh, all of our viewers once a month. And it's, we provide that on the last Thursday of the month, which is why you're here. And on Saturday morning, what time? 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, the OML Embroidery Gang gets together. Anybody can watch. It's free on YouTube. And we stitch out, it's a stitch along, we stitch out the design that you're going to show us. It's always yeah. exciting. I love I it. I know. It's so fun. And, you know, there's a lot of people who didn't download last year's designs. And this happens every January. And they, because we take them down pretty much New Year's Eve, right? Or New Year's Day, we just, you know, start fresh on the new year. But we've learned that people, you know, are disappointed that they're gone. So we encourage you to go to our website and click on designs and projects and free designs. And there you'll find all of 2023 designs available, which is the, um, in a zip file and in all the different formats. Isn't that great? Wow, that's yeah. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I know. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, well, I know. We hope that people will take advantage of that. And, you know, because eventually it'll probably go away. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So we encourage you to share your projects and use the hashtag Dime Sew Along on the House and Exquisite thread. Post it on Instagram and Facebook so that we can see what you're stitching. And we really hope that you're using these uh, on the house designs because some of them have been so cool. Did you like the girls that we did this year, uh, Sue? Uh, yes. Oh, the sunshine so girl and stuff. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they stitched out so beautifully. Yeah, they really are. Super beautiful. cute. Yeah. Well, Sue is here because today is the project day. So I made a rather sweet little thing and it's just a Valentine. It's oh. so sweet. And I hope that you have oh. someone in your life that you would like to make this for and maybe mail to them or hand to them. It could be a spouse, a partner. It could be a, a good friend who needs a pick me up. It could be a grandchild. But it was just delightful to make. And I'm going to send mine to my grandchild. So let's take a look at how you do it. It's a couple hoopings. The first thing you're going to do is hoop. I chose beige felt. And you stitch the lovebirds, which is uh, those two little, you know, kissing lovebirds on a swirly vine. And then in that shaped kind of V, it's the bottom of the heart with a scallop top. So you'll stitch that and then you'll take it out of the hoop and you'll cut right on that stitch line. That's going to give you the scallops and that perfect V shape. Now just be careful and just put your blade right on those stitches. And then if there's any stitches left, just pull them away, right? You might have some threads or, or two. Pin that bottom, um, oh, Pin the, 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 the lovebirds to a pink heart. Now you have a pink heart in the download. I'm pretty sure. Oh gosh, now I'm scared. <laughs> if not, you'll have it in an hour. So if the pink heart is not there in your download right now, we'll update it very quickly. Uh, I'll verify that. And that pink heart is you just cut it out You and you cut it out of pink felt. You don't have to use your embroidery machine. If you have a digital cutter, you could go through all that, uh, all those steps, but it's felt. So, you know, you could just use scissors, right? And then you're going to hoop red felt and you will stitch uh, the, the first color, which is the scalloped outline of the Valentine and the placement guide for the pink heart. And then you'll place that pink heart over that outline. And the next thing it will do is stitch that E stitch and it's gonna catch the uh, lovebirds portion. Now stay with the machine while it's doing that because as the needle travels around uh, one edge, it's actually on the right hand side as it comes around the top of the heart and comes to the right side of the lovebirds portion of the felt. You don't wanna get the foot caught underneath that white felt. So stay with it, maybe put a piece of tape over it or just use a skewer or the tip of a scissors to hold that down. It's only an instant, but you know, super cute. 
So there you have it. And then when you take it out of the hoop, it's all done. And you can cut up a little heart or you can cut up a little, um, you know, write a little note and send it off. So here, let's go ahead and take a look at it. It it's, fits in the palm of your hand. And how sweet is that, right? I love it. I, I love, love it. it. It's so cute. And write a little, you know, note, a little love note. You can put, maybe you could put some candy in there or whatever you desire, but it is just precious. I tell you, I love it. And, you know, stitched. Oh, it's under three minutes. I, it's so fast. It's really fast. Oh, fun. Yeah. So you're going to have a good time doing that on Saturday. Oh, we sure are. That's gorgeous. I yeah. love it. And, you know, I... I mean, I stitched uh, five lovebird, lovebirds, I, I, maybe not five, maybe four in a, or in a five by seven hoop and so that I, I can make multiples really quickly. And uh, it's really fun. Super easy. Awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. So it's Saturday at 10 o'clock at OML Embroidery. On the YouTube channel. On the YouTube channel. You'll take everybody through this. So yes. get some felt, folks, so that you can do this with Sue. I love it. I can't wait. That's I'm so excited now. Yeah, <laughs> we love well, the like Saturday the... fun, but Saturday yeah. fun and dime, that's the best. That's oh, the that's best. so sweet. Well, I know your OML gang is here in the house. So many of us have joined today and it's really nice to have them here. Um, it, it's, you know, it's a joy to have you every, you know, and you're going to join me all year on the last Thursday, right, of the month, yes. whether I'm here or not, because in February, it's going to be you and Ashley. So I'm going to be on grandma duty that week. So um, I'm excited to see. Yeah, I'm excited to see what you two will do. So mm -hmm. and see, let's see. Susan Wiggins says, will the heart design on Saturday be a free design? It's free today right now, Sue. It's on, uh, Susan, it's on design's website and uh, you can go over there. If you go to um, dzgns.com embroidery projects, free designs, it's loaded there and you'll find it. You can download it. The instructions are there and um, the color sequence, Da, 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 da. all of everything that everything you need everything, everything you, need. you need yep and in multiple formats so uh, you don't have to convert it so thank you so much sue for joining me today thank you for having me i really my favorite things variegated thread and the project i'm yeah. so happy <laughs> awesome well you know look here's our good friend marianne de Blagla. she said the pink heart is in the pdf file Whew, there you go. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Marianne. I don't know why I was sweating that out, but you know. <sighs> anyway. You can breathe. You can yeah, breathe now. Right. But Cindy King, no, you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. Marianne just confirmed that the pink heart is in there. You're good to go. So thank you. Anyway, oh, good. I appreciate <laughs> that. All right. So you take care and I'll look forward thank to seeing you. you online. And definitely you'll be back here with me at the end of February. Looking forward to it. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you everyone for joining us today.